No, you are. Fuck! God damn it. Again. Yeah, okay, screw it. Stacy just told me she's leaving me for Daniel. Weird nose Daniel? Yeah. Weird nose Daniel. Come on. Oh, fuck him. Fuck Stacy. You're too good for them anyway. Yeah, I know, but like, me and Stacy, me and Stacy, we have like a, like a thing going on. You know? Yeah, I get that, man. But it's probably good to take your mind off stuff. Get out of the house. Say, I'm going to this party later. It's not going to be a rager or anything. Just me and a couple of homies. I think you should come. I'm down. Ha! Another round? Like, I don't know, man. I'm still not sure if I'm in the right headspace for this, you know? Come on, dude. It'll be chill. Just a couple of homies looking to have a good time. You know what? Sure, man. All right. Well, Plato, perfect throw, man. How could that throw be perfect, bro? I mean, how can anything in this world be perfect? Can we even ascertain the perfect throw, or are we forever approximating the ideal throw, dude? Oh, you nailed it, man. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Ugh, honestly, man, not so great. I'm just here to take my mind off some shit. Have a good time, you know? Well, you're in the right place, my friend. Why don't you join us for a round of olive oil pump? We're about to start another round. Oh, sick. Yeah, that buddy Chad over here just got dumped by his girl. Yeah, she left him for Daniel. Weird knows Daniel? Hate that guy. Doesn't everybody? Damn, bro, that really sucks to hear. Wait, I see it. Those chicks are all deficient and monstrous. They aren't worth your time. Damn straight, brother. Dangerous, creeping, subterranean beasts of prey they are. Gotta be careful around them. You go to women, be sure to brandish a whip. Whoa, 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 you two. I think she has the right to make that decision for herself. We're condemned to freedom and we bear the consequences of our choices. If she thinks that was the right decision for her, then it probably was. You're almost there, bro. But you're not seeing the full picture. Yes, they can make their own decisions, and yes, they'll suffer the consequences of those said choices, but they lack the fundamental authority to deliberate between the options, man. Oh. <clears throat> nah, man. Nobody on their own has the ability to deliberate the consequences of an ethical decision. We must have a social contract, an agreement as a society not to act as animals, dude. Man, if we lack the ability to reason without authority, then what is the difference between us and beasts? You don't suppose that inherently we're nothing but animals, do you? Man, I was once in love. Shit sucks. We were only engaged for a year, but, but I know she was the one for me. Nobody asked, bud. I get where you guys are coming from, but like, I really felt like she was the one for me, you know? Look, dude, I like to think that if you can conceptualize the perfect girl, then she must be up there somewhere. Yo, dude, I think Buddy Anselm has a point. I heard from my pal Aristophanes a while back. He thought that people came from a single being that gets cleaved in two, right? And your soulmate is like the other half. You just gotta go out there and find them, man. Nah, bro. Soulmates don't really exist. I, I would know. I was passionately in love with her. I knew she could be the one for me. I just knew it. However, I abruptly broke off a marriage with her after only one year of engagement. And I painted myself as a lunatic as to spit Who? her... Who? Who asked? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, guys. I just can't help but wonder if there's something I could have done to prevent this. I mean, weird nose Daniel. Really? You know how women are, man. Maybe her womb monster was biting her. Did you ever try lathering her thighs with lavender oil? If not, that's probably where you went wrong, dude. People call me crazy and perverted, but I'm telling you, man, it works wonders. 
puts the moon right to sleep. Don't listen to Plato, bro. He's mad. The simplest answer is usually correct. Overthinking it won't bring her back. Probably just doesn't feel the same way she used to without you. Don't beat yourself up about a bro. Any bro must be a self-lover, for he will benefit from doing fine things, and in turn, benefit his homies. Aristotle is right. Hating on yourself or what you cannot control will only dig your pit of despair deeper, man. You have to cultivate yourself now in order to see yourself improve later. You must work on your judgment so you pick the right girls in the future. I think that's what girls really want, bro. A man who has his shit figured out, you know? Got all his problems sorted and cultivated, or whatever Confucius was talking about. Can we really be so sure about that, Brad? I mean, truly, the only thing we know for certain is the thoughts of ourselves. I mean, you don't really know what girls want. You're not a chick, bro. Touché, bro. Our knowledge is limited to our personal experiences. Well, 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 in my personal experience, whether you marry or don't marry, you'll regret it. Whether you live or kill yourself, you'll regret it also. Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up! up! still exists. Uh, I guess I don't. If there is no sound for us to perceive, how can we know that something exists? I... Wow. Dude, that's like... That's trippy, man. Yeah, you know, bro, some friends you've got. Interesting guys. <laughs>